The blame game is on after a Dearborn man was wrongly arrested in front of his children over the weekend. The prominent businessman was taken into custody, then let go after investigators realized they had the wrong guy. 7 Action News reporter Michael Rosenfield explains how the mix-up happened. Ali Hamoud is a longtime Dearborn resident, pillar of the community, and head of the Ben Chabil Cultural Center. On Friday, he was arrested. Dearborn police say they were acting on a valid FBI warrant. The name and address matched, and officers were duty-bound to make the arrest. I'm very confident that the person named in the warrant was the person arrested. But Hamoud's attorney says the warrant is old and blames overzealous Dearborn police for the incident that's made national headlines. I'm told that Dearborn is doing sweeps. They got police officers who have nothing better to do, so they're looking up cold cases. They looked up at this cold case, they matched the name, and they thought they had a big fish. Attorney Majin Mogni says the real Ali Hamoud is wanted for alleged cigarette smuggling and ties to Hezbollah, and he's likely living out of the country. And while the search continues for him, this Ali Hamoud is frustrated by the mistaken identity, especially after being arrested at home in front of three of his sons. They made a big blunder. They made a big mistake and they got the wrong guy. My client told them, you guys listen, you have the wrong guy. This has happened before to me. You can't be doing this to me. What is Dearborn doing? The dirty work of the FBI for? In, in, in Dearborn, what are they doing arresting one of the most respected members of our, of our community? But Dearborn's police chief says it was not a case of mistaken identity on the police department's part, but he wouldn't blame the FBI. The information contained in the federal arrest warrant listed the name, address, driver's license number, physical description, and other personal information that matched Mr. Hamoud. Ali Hamoud's attorney says they are not filing any lawsuit. They don't want a penny. They just want what they call this witch hunt to go away. In Dearborn, Michael Rosenfield, 7 Action News. The FBI said today, quote, once in custody, it was determined that Ali Hamoud was not uniquely identical to the individual named in the federal arrest warrant. Mr. Hamoud has not been tied to any terrorist organizations, and he is recognized as a respected community leader.